When talking about the properties of water, one of the cool properties is that it's one of the best solvents out there. Solvent meaning that it can dissolve things in it. Things that are dissolved in water are actually called solutes. And when you take the solute and you dissolve it in the solvent, you end up with a solution, a combined solution. We often talk about concentrations of solutions. So you're talking about grams per milliliter. And so you need to actually consider both the solute and the solvent. It's important for osmosis. And anyways, in this video, we're going to take a look at one um, specific biological use of water being a great solvent and that is that it helps us to transport things in the blood because blood is primarily water so you can see there are some red blood cells in here but it's not really the red blood cells that are as significant as the actual things that are dissolved in the plasma around here so depending on the type of substance we can decide if it's a good idea to transport in blood or if we need to have some kind of other uh, mechanism to help us to be able to do that so we all know that salt if you put salt into your pasta water while you are boiling it, uh, the salt disappears. It's still there, obviously it's just dissolved. You can't see it, but it's been separated into its ions. So salt is a very polar molecule. It likes water and it can dissolve very easily. So sodium chloride is soluble and transported in the plasma as, the, as their ion components, sodium ions and chlorine ions. Glucose and amino acids are also polar, so they're also transported through the blood, uh, dissolved in the plasma. So when you need to get glucose to different areas, you need energy. You know, I'm about to go lift some weights. I'm not going to lift some weights. I don't really lift weights. In my dreams, I lift weights, but I probably should lift some weights. Anyways, I need to get glucose to my muscles. So I eat a meal. Some of that glucose uh, eventually gets absorbed into my small intestine. A good trick is to try and uh, involve as many vocabulary words as possible when you're trying to do an explanation. So this is what I'm trying to do. I eat my food. I swallow it. It goes down the esophagus. It, all the germs get killed. Eventually, uh, the carbohydrates get digested into the small monomer molecules. And so glucose gets absorbed through the villi of my small intestine. They get into my bloodstream and then they get delivered around because glucose dissolves really well in the bloodstream. When there's too much of it, some of it gets taken up by the liver and gets converted into glycogen. And it's the hormone insulin that helps me to reduce my blood sugar. Okay, just showing off. <laughs> you should be able to do that as well too. What about some things that are nonpolar? Oxygen molecules are nonpolar, so they don't dissolve enough. So we actually have to combine them with a protein called hemoglobin, which you've heard of. And hemoglobin is actually found in the red blood cells. So oxygen attaches to the hemoglobin. So the red blood cells are specialized to help us to be able to transport oxygen around. Also, You've heard of this problem as well too, eating too much cholesterol, too many fats. These are non-polar things. They don't like water. They're insoluble in water, but we do need to transport some of these fats around to different places, like for building our plasma membranes. We need some cholesterol in there to help with the membrane fluidity. And these guys are transported in little droplets called, cleverly, lipoproteins or lipoproteins. These are proteins that are connected to a little bit of fat. The protein part allows it to dissolve in the will stay kind of hydrophilic and be dissolved in the blood and the lipo part is the part that allows the fats to be actually transported otherwise they're just going to get pushed to the side all the time our body's still not really evolved well for this stuff because you know if it builds up you can end up having fatty deposits uh, building up in your arteries and that does not lead to a happy ending at all okay water's great it can dissolve things